Hi guys, the reason why I'm not wearing a cap today is because I want to talk about my hair or at least what's left of it, but not about the style or so, but just about the color. So what I'm using since two weeks is this one here, that's the Control GX just for men, great reducing shampoo that's the thing here not a very large thing but you actually don't need a lot and it can last for a very very long time so in this video i want to talk about almost everything which is connected to this shampoo how easy or how difficult it is how good it is how efficient it really works uh, maybe side effects and all these things so of course what's important before you use this uh, for the first time you read everything what's here in the back and especially in the box comes with a huge description and this is because it has a very detailed description how to use it and the second thing is they want you to make a test before you're really using it on your hair just take a little bit put it somewhere maybe here and leave it there for some time to check if there's some adverse reaction or not and only when you don't feel anything special just a little bit of discoloration then you can use it on your hair so how was the effect the effect or the result was actually pretty good or is still pretty good i mean i'm using this pretty much every other day I think it's not needed to use this every day. If you have even a little bit longer hair, you can maybe use this only once a week or so because the effect lasts for very long. I've heard it's almost impossible to wash this out. This is just like then growing out over time. Most people are saying the color fades a little bit, but it's not going totally away that's also a good thing but of course it's still very strong color it's black henna it can stain a lot but in my case it was not too scary i've checked almost everything i mean of course they want you to use only the palms of your hands to rub it or work it into your hair that's definitely highly recommended i've read about people who got really black fingertips or so you can check there's absolutely nothing to see here but of course i was always quite careful not every time perfectly but most of the time i just put it into my palm and then used it like that it's a little bit more difficult but it can definitely help to avoid some stains then about other stains we are having a travertine shower and so it's probably not so much of a problem when i use a lot sometimes it's a little bit difficult i mean it has this special opening to protect from air because when it comes in contact with air it turns black you can see that here trying to open that hope you can see that now it looks black most of it but actually it's more like beige the original color of the thing is beige so inside there's still a lot of beige i don't know if it still works when it's black but they recommend to open it very short just put it into your hand and then work it right away close the lid immediately to protect it against air but for me it was really just the hair it never colored my skin and also not our shower with the travertine but maybe if you have a perfect white shower you have to be a little bit more careful make sure that you rinse everything after showering also i can show you this towel which i'm using to dry my hair and you can see it was beige at the beginning it's still beige absolutely the same so i'm never using any other towel i've been very scared at the beginning thought i have to use like a black towel or so but uh, yeah i really don't see any difference apart from the hands you have to be really careful with the eyes so how i really apply the whole procedure is i start with this shampoo i mean it's a shampoo conditioner body wash I guess if I use just a shampoo it would be better because the conditioner of course leaves some residues and then maybe preventing from having the maximum effect but it still works perfectly with the color so I'm using this to clean my hair at the beginning then rinsing this out with water and then I'm using this towel on my forehead and around the eyes so I leave my hair completely wet but I'm drying this area so it's not flowing down from this shampoo and this works actually pretty good it has never been flowing into my eyes mm -hmm. 
After that, I continue with my normal showering procedure with this thing here, which takes me about maybe two minutes or so. And then after that, I rinse everything, the shampoo and the other stuff. Of course, I highly recommend to close your eyes, maybe holding down your head a little bit, so not all the water with the shampoo is flowing into your eyes. And so after learning about the whole procedure, of course, you want to know if it has been working or not. And I have good news and bad news. The good news is nobody has been talking about that. Nobody has noticed that. Not my children, not my wife, nobody else. Really, nobody has noticed that. Nobody has been talking about that. That's actually what we want. But the bad thing is, yeah, okay, same thing. Nobody has been talking about that. That's very disappointing. And it's not that people are not talking about because it's not working. It had definitely quite a huge effect. You can see the pictures. I've been making two pictures, one at the beginning and one after about two weeks. Again, with using this every other day or so and not with a lot of shampoo. I'm using just a little bit. Usually I'm not taking a lot because when you're taking a lot then everything is washed down and you can definitely see some black color in the water and to prevent that I'm using just a little bit which is then mainly really staying on my head going into my hair and when I wash it down I can't see any black water down there so I haven't been using uh, a lot every time before I go into the shower I check what's the brightest parts where it needs the most colorization and then I put it there sometimes I start on the side sometimes I start on the top and definitely not using a lot and only every other day but it still had quite some impact I would say exactly what I wanted not totally black or so just removing all the gray hair pretty much and because of that, of course, it also looks like almost a little bit more hair. So after these two weeks, I've been disclosing that to my family and ask what they think about and everybody found it really, really good. So there were absolutely no negative comments. Everybody liked it. They just didn't realize that on their own, which is actually exactly what we want. So I'm really super happy with this thing. I mean, it's not super easy to use maybe the first one, two or three days till you get used to the whole procedure to be a little bit careful. But after that, it's pretty much just like using normal shampoo every day or every two days. What I'm putting on is a little bit of argan oil to get some uh, kind of wet look after that. But I think it's not needed. I didn't notice any bad thing or so. Absolutely nothing. So I definitely keep going with this thing. Also because I really don't need a lot. I think this will last for many, many, many months. Maybe almost half a year or so. But of course if you have longer hair then you need more. But still, I'm super happy with it. If you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.